All right, I got a new seat from Cumberland Crappie. Uh, it is called the Double Down Fishing Seat. And I've been using it now for uh, a couple, two, three trips. And I'm really liking this seat. And I wanted to make a installation video on how uh, you put the seat together when it comes in and how to put it in the boat. Um, my boat is a 2017 uh, Ranger uh, Z520. So it's got a pretty wide deck on it. So I'm gonna have mine opened up pretty good. I like to have room to go in between plus room to be able to swing around to go back to the back of the boat. But when you get it, you're gonna get three pieces. You're gonna get a centerpiece, okay? And it's gonna have the piece that goes down into your seat post uh, mount in your boat. And it's gonna have two positions on it um, that you, you can, you can, you've got two positions on this crossbar and you've got uh, four positions on the other two pieces that comes, seat pieces. There's four, four pieces. Uh, four holes, I'm sorry. And you're, so you're going to get two of these. And you're going to get a cross piece. Now mine, since I'm going to have mine wide open, I've got mine on the outer hole. And that takes a uh, Allen wrench. I believe it's a 730 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 730 seconds Allen wrench. Now, these holes are tapped. So once you put this in the whichever one you want to get wider or narrower, you screw these in and they're, they're tight. So mine are gonna be on the outer holes. So these already come tight when they come in from uh, Cumberland Crappy. All right, and they're probably gonna be in the outer position. So what you wanna do is take the lock nuts off. That takes a 916 socket. Lock nut. Metal washer. So you're gonna have these uh, uh, plastic uh, washers. Just put them on where you kind of hide it, you know, because this kind of goes on top. So depending on what hole you use or what position that you put this in, you, you want to have these or uh, in between the seat post mounts and the cross piece. So mine, I'm going to put mine in the third hole on this piece. So you're going to want with this going in your deck, I'm going to want the longer foot on the bracket on the seat post bracket to be toward uh, the back of the boat. So all you do is take, and I'm gonna put that in the third hole for my boat. I'm gonna put the washer, lock nut, take it down. You don't have to tighten it, just tight. It depends on how loose you, if you want to be able to move it. You know, when you get it up inside, if you want to move to get in your rod, rod boxes or whatever, or if you want to move it to different positions. So this don't have to be real tight at all. Um, so then I'm gonna take my other one. I'm gonna put that in the, in the third hole. All right, there 
is the seat mount. All right. Now the seat mount, that's once you get that together, you know, you can take it off and put it back on, just leave it. You don't have to, you don't have to mess with these anymore once you have them in the correct hole that you like. All right, this is the seat post. And that's a seat holder when you're running down the water or if you were, if you're, you know, in some rough water and you're gonna take a long run, you might not wanna have your seats up high. You wanna be able to see over the bow of the boat. So that's what's neat about this one as well. So what happens is you just, he has a design where you pull that, let it flip back or forward, okay? And well, you of course you're gonna pull, pull your seat out. Just pull the seat up and then you're gonna swing that up and then the seat will fit right down in the seat holder, which makes it low to the, to the deck of the boat where you can see over the bow. That's a pretty neat option on that. So there again, let's go up, swing it down and put your seat on. And then put your seat back on. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so let's mount it in the boat. All you do is whichever hole you want it in. I always like it in my last hole. And you just stick it in on a Ranger, you've got two. I think on most bass boats, you've got two seat post holes. I like mine here. Um, also, he also uh, is coming out with a optional uh, net umbrella holder. And we're gonna utilize this hole on a Ranger. Um, and I've got that as well. So. I'm going to put this in the in the second hole, and all you do is take your nine sixteenths wrench and just tighten this down. I had it real loose. Just take your nine sixteenths wrench. You can tie it, tighten it as tight as you want. That thing ain't moving, it's not gonna, except for right here. So you can move these, you know, however you want to move them. I kind of keep mine in this position because I've already tried the seat. Uh, so if you if you want to take if that's how you put it in, you can tighten this down as tight as you want to tighten it. It's not going anywhere. These here, pick up, go forward, or they can go back. You put your seat down on them. And that's the mount. All right, now let's get the seats. seats in. Now these seats came with a spring on them and I guess some seat bases have a spring and some don't and he's he, he's designed this for the correct height with the seat without a spring so you could either have him make it with a different length bar if I, you know he would do that or just remove the spring. I took the springs off my seats because they don't really do anything. So all you do, get the seat in there. Seat number two. All right. This thing is sturdy. Now it's gonna have a little movement here, but it's not gonna have any movement to rock back or to go forward or any of that when you're fishing. You can go in between, uh, you can go to the side, you can spin all the way around. Same with this seat. 
I kind of adjust mine to where I can have both seats where they really don't hit. I might want to move mine out a little bit, one more hole. Uh, but that's kind of how it works. If you want to, you can drive down the lake with this on there, it's not a problem. Uh, I have, I usually do. But if it's real rough water, you're finished, or you want to move, and you're going to make a long run, all you have to do is grab the seat, pull it out, put that down, stick that in the seat holder, pull the seat down, and put it in the seat holder. So now they're out of the way, and you can you can see over the bow of the boat. And that is, this is called the Double Down Fishing Seat by Cumberland Crappie. All right, I'm gonna show you how to remove the Double Down Fishing Seat. Take your seats. Pull them off. Take your 9 sixteenths. You can use a wrench, socket, whatever. Take the, just unloosen that bolt and pull it out. That's it. You could, you could actually just, uh, depending on how tight you have these, you know, you could actually uh, stick that in a rod box, actually, if you wanted to. That's all you do. All right, Cumberland Crappie also uh, came out with a umbrella net holder with a no drill rod holder for spider rigging. And I want to show you how to how that works. You're basically going to get the uh, same piece that you have to hold down it inside. Ranger for that second hole. It comes with Allen screw. Kind of put your Allen screw in here. And all you do is just tighten this up with by hand. That's it. Here's where your umbrella or your net can go in. Now, and that makes it sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Uh, next, here's the arms for spider rigging. Now, what you can do is you know, mount whatever kind of arm you're buying. I use the double seat. I've got the double seat uh, rod holders, and I haven't mounted mine yet because I just got this. But basically, I'll drill and mount my rod holder on here, um, and the double seat rod holder is basically the bracket comes off, and I'll mount the bracket where I can, you know, easily take off the rod holders. But all you do is put these on here. These are drilled and tapped. Here's my second arm. It's on this side.
setup. Um, I'm going to mount my rod holders and try them out. But it's a really seems to be a really sturdy rig. So here's a close up of how that looks. A little windy outside so you hear that all right 